Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys my top 5 most used handbags. I love watching those videos because it kind of helps me deciding on what bags I'm gonna get. Um, it is always a good sign when you see other people use the bag a lot. So hopefully this video will help you as well. So let's get started. The first bag I'm gonna share with you guys is actually the bag I use the most among all those bags. It is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in Damien Ebene. I love this is a coated canvas material. I love how the handles and the leather trim, they're treated leather. So you don't need to worry about it gets like darker or getting ruined. It is just a great bag. It's very versatile. I use it for work. I use it for traveling. I use it a lot basically. It holds up really, really well. I think I've been using this bag for about two years nonstop and I just love how sturdy it is. I think if you are thinking about getting a bag for your first designer bag, I definitely recommend Louis Vuitton Never 4. It's really, really easy going bag and uh, it's very functional as well. So I love, love this bag. I have a review on this bag like two years ago, I think it's still on my channel. So if you're interested, you can go have a look and uh, I might do an updated review as well. Second bag I want to share with you guys is another tote bag. It is this Longchamp tote bag. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the name really. It's this one you can fold up. I think you can see this everywhere when you're at the airport. It's a great traveling bag because it has a zip and also the material is nylon and uh, it's waterproof so you don't need to worry about this bag gets wet in the rain. That's the thing I love most about it because you know it rains all the time here. Uh, I use this as a work bag sometimes as well and it's very easy to wipe it clean either outside and or inside. I just love this bag. It's very, very easy going, easy to carry bag. You don't need to worry about anything. So this is a great bag for value. The next bag I want to share with you guys is actually the bag I got recently. I've showed you in the last two videos. It is this um, Proenza Schooler PS1 bag. I use this as my everyday work bag now. I kind of decided to give my Louis Vuitton never for a little break because I don't want to ruin this bag. I know it's not going to be destroyed that easily, but I kind of want to give it rest so I can have it for longer. So I'm recently using this bag. I love this bag as well. It's kind of different from the never for because it's not a tote bag. It's more like a satchel bag. I love the long strap. It's not a crossbody bag because the strap is not long enough. But I love how it looks on me. It's very casual, very school bag like. It's totally different from the Never 4 because Never 4 only has one little pocket and this bag has a ton of pockets so I don't need a bag organizer for this bag. I really enjoy using this bag and uh, I think I'll keep using it until I decided to switch up again. Now moving on to the small bags. The bag I use the most among all the small bags are my Gucci Disco bag. I love how this bag looks. I love the tassel. I love the logo. I just love this bag so much. It, it is in this black color. It's a bit boring. I do wish I got a different color, but when I bought it, black is really hard to get. So I kind of just went for that because it is hard to get. And this one has a long strap. You can wear this crossbody. I love wearing this crossbody and it has a one zip compartment and has two small pockets there. I don't really like the inside lining of Gucci bags. I think with those expensive bags, you should always have good linings. Those are a little bit disappointing, but it doesn't affect how much I love this bag. It's really, really functional. It fits a ton. You can just put loads of stuff in there, carry it for weekends going out for shopping. It's just an easy bag and it looks great with any kind of outfit. I also like how the hardware is pale gold. So if you're wearing silver jewelry, so you can still wear this bag. I just love this bag a ton. Every time I go somewhere shopping or running errands, I always pick this up because it's just easy to use and it does fit in my long wallet, my Emily wallet, if you are interested. So definitely a great bag. 
So the last bag is probably my favorite mini bag ever. It is this Chanel mini flat bag in black patent leather with silver hardware. I fell in love with this bag the first time I saw this. I just had to get this. It is so cute and so pretty. It is very dressy looking but if you wear a very simple outfit, it definitely goes as well because it is silver hardware. When I bought this bag, I had a choice of other colors as well. I don't know why I went for black again. It's just typical me. I'm kind of glad I went for the black because this is patent leather so it's quite shiny. If you're wearing quite simple black and white outfit, you can still wear this. It's going to be a statement because the shininess of this and uh, I love how tiny dinky this bag is. You can dress up, dress it down. It's very versatile. It's just a great little bag. It fits quite a bit. I wouldn't say it fits as much as the Gucci Disco. I never really compared them, but it definitely fits everything you need. I, I just love this bag so much. Look at it. I just love how shiny it is. And it's very easy to clean. You just need to wipe off any dust and uh, the fingerprint doesn't really get on this easily as you can see so definitely don't need to worry about that I usually put this in my dust bag that's what a person in Chanel told me definitely gonna take a great care of this bag because I love it so much and uh, yeah that's everything I think that's all my most used bags hopefully this video is very helpful to you and let me know if you want me to do a deep review of any of the bags and thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time bye